This is Kodori. Let's see what we're doing. Ah, all right, a multiple choice. These are super important. They're gonna help us review what we have learned. You really wanna understand them, otherwise it hurts you later. That being said, be careful with these two. Once you click an ant and hit submit, that gets submitted to your teacher and you can't change it. So if that's me, it's submitted to me. If not, someone else. But you really wanna think about and understand this. All right, which line of code should replace the missing code line to produce the final state of the painter object? All right. So this is the start. Let me scroll down here. That is the end. Okay. So the paint bucket's right here. Mm-hmm. And we must paint here, here, and here, it looks like. And then we get to there. So the paint bucket's there. It's not telling us exactly where we start, but okay. Oh, and here's the code. Oh, that's really annoying to have to scroll back and forth. Let me actually... Choop. Okay. I screenshotted it just to make my life and yours easier. You're welcome to us, I guess. All right. So... Uh, let's walk through it line by line because code runs in order. So painter, my painter. All right, we create this new object. The object is my painter. Uh, we do this pretty standard, right? Once we've declared this variable, my painter, we define it with uh, the uh, instantiating the class. My painter dot turn left. Okay. Well, we're not entirely sure where the painter is but we know the bucket is here. So yeah, let's see. We would turn left three times and then we would move, huh? And we know that this isn't the code we're replacing. The code we're missing is here. So if we turn right left three times and then move and then we take paint, this all must be correct. And honestly, that makes sense because We've been starting in the top left corner, or I guess I can show you here. So let's assume that we still are. So to be starting in that top left corner, does it work? If we start right up here and we turn left, yeah, because we've been facing to the right when we start, right, or to the east. So if we turn left three times, once, twice, three times, we would now be facing down and we could move down, plop. This is where the can of paint was, remember, right here. So it makes sense then to take the three things of paint. And I'm just walking through this in order. One, two, three, there they go. All right, now what does it have us do? Well, first we paint it white, check. So our logic is making sense because how else did that get white? And then what do we do? Well, then we move down one. All right, so now we have some missing code. First thing I know right off the bat is this is white and most of the square is filled. So we know we painted the square. All right, so what does that eliminate? Painted white, oh, nothing. Okay, well, that's not so helpful so far. Then what? Well, our next line here is painted white. Huh, well, we couldn't just suddenly paint this white again, we would run out of paint. So we must do another action. There must be some other code missing. Well, if I walk down from here, bloop, painted this white, what do I need to do? Well, to get over here, we know we have to turn. Okay, well that cuts it down some, right? Painted white, turn, turn white. No, it doesn't. Well, yeah, we got to get rid of this one. These two both turn, and so does this one, and we're not sure of the order yet, so that could work. All right, so if we paint it white and turn, then what do we need to do? Well, we need to move, right? Because if we don't, we would just end up painting this white again. So I'm thinking it would be paint white, turn, move. Then, boom. We could paint this white. That would make sense to me. Turn left, one, two, three, and turn down. I want you to really think about this though, right? Because if you're not catching what I'm saying, you need to go through it line by line. We really want to make sure you understand what is missing here and why we know you have to paint it white, then move, uh, then turn left, and then move. We know you need all three of those actions. All right, let's give that a shot. Victory onward.